Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Titan Ecology. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we better deal with this. Okay, so, yes, coyotes. Let's quickly, 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 I don't want them to die, get some jackrabbits. And jackrabbits. We're going to need a lot because... Now we have the opposite problem. We have too many carnivores and uh, not enough uh, prey. So that's an issue. Let's get some more of these guys in. And hopefully these guys... Oh dear. Are they hunting? I think they're hunting. They should be hunting. They're doing better. These guys are doing very poorly. Please tell me you'll catch some prey soon. We might not be able to sustain this population, though we might have to just wait and see what's going on. How are these guys doing? These guys have ha been preyed on a little bit. Okay, more than a little bit by these bobcats. That's an issue. And here are some jackrabbits. I'm going to put down some more peccaries, I think, because the bobcats are definitely eating them. And maybe even the coyotes if they range far enough. Uh, let's see. I think the coyotes are going to be okay. Okay, yeah, they're up. These guys, I think, should be alright. What about this group? Um, we could potentially... I hope we can relocate some of the groups, I think, over time. Like, I hope we can have them spread out this way, because there's too many. Is there any way... I don't think there's any way to actually straight up move a group unfortunately. So yeah, this biodome is known for being a little crazy, but this area at least is looking really good. Uh, I'm not seeing, well, I'm seeing a little bit of a overeating, eating grass. These guys, ooh, they have a lot of juveniles. Okay, I really want the, the bobcats to eat these guys and not the peccaries. There we go. And let's get down some more grass. If it'll let us... I hope. Maybe. No. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think there's room. Alright, never mind that. But let us look around. Okay, the coyotes. Okay, down to one. Okay, one of them is down to one. Two, two, two. So if we can slowly, oh, they're going to reproduce again soon. If we could slowly kind of bring down the population, that would be good. Um, I'm going to just on a whim try and put down a population of mule deer and see how that goes. In fact, I think I'll put another population over here possibly once our energy comes back. We'll speed it up a little bit. Just to see how things work. Because I think the coyotes will prey on these guys. If given the chance. And I think that could be a good thing, honestly. We've got... Is that a peccary? That is a peccary. Alright, let's put some deer over here as well. And we should be good, I think. Hopefully that'll work out okay. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave this biodome here. There's not really all that much we can do, except kind of leave it and see what happens. So hopefully the jackrabbits we place down over here, I don't think they're going to be enough. I'm going to put down just a couple more maybe, a couple more populations, because these coyotes eat a heck of a lot, and there are a lot of them. And we'll just see what we have left when we come back in three months. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our other... Um, our other biodome now, so I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back to, uh-oh, uh, welcome back to the Alaskan tundra here. We lost the ground squirrels. I think they got eaten. How are our foxes? They reproduce in three weeks. Oh my goodness, we could probably stay here for that. Let's try and get another ground squirrel population, possibly another hare population. We've got a couple. And we'll put down some of these plants as well, just to kind of give the hares something more to eat. We're not having the plant issues that we're having in the desert nearly as much. Uh, 
here we're having issues with our prey animals dying. Well, we've been having that now in the desert too. And let's see if we can actually expand the biodome. We'll unlock, ooh, that's expensive though. I don't think we're gonna do this yet. I think we need to expand our desert biodome first. So let's go ahead and we'll speed this up and I think we'll stick around long enough for these guys to have babies because that's gonna be really, really cool. Okay, so let's see. We have, we actually have, is that a hare or a fox? That is a hare. A very, oh, that's why it was white looking. It was under the the line there. I was like, that is a very bright white hare. But no, it was a, just the line, the territory line that it was standing on. Let's see, we've got more low population up here. How exactly are they doing? They still have two, they still could reproduce, but I think we might lose them as well. Here is a hive of arctic bumblebees. I think, yeah, arctic bumblebees. We've got more ground squirrels over here. How are these guys doing? They seem to be doing all right. And where actually are the foxes? That's what I want to see. There's a fox down here. There's one heading that way. But where is the other? We have the, another somewhere. Is that the same one? No, one right here and one right here. That's where they are. And they are actually about to have babies. So two weeks until reproduction shouldn't be that much longer. Uh, everything's looking okay plant-wise. So that's good. We're not losing too many plants and they should be being pollinated as well. And let's look at these guys. We'll keep an eye on them. I'm going to put down some more plants while we wait. And make sure we get some of these flowers. And I tended to, to default to the diamond leaf willow even though that's worse. So I should not do that. I shouldn't be doing that. Alright, so we have more monthly income. And what about these guys? One week until reproduction, so we're going to kind of hover probably. Because I want to try and uh, get a, a glimpse of the babies right when they pop in. So we should see them coming in in any moment. I suspect they'll kind of spawn in here at the center. And uh, hopefully that'll be good. Look at this little guy running off. Hopefully we'll be able to get a glimpse of that right as it happens. I think we should be close. We should be really close. I'm keeping an eye on things. We're gonna find out if the babies just appear in the center or what exactly happens. One week, we should be really, really close right now. I don't know if they'll pop in at the parents or if they'll uh, spawn right here. So we might miss it if we're not careful, but we might also, um, we might also be able to catch it on a catch close up glimpse of it. All right. Oh, 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 there we go. We have a baby. We have babies. We have babies. We have babies. We have three babies. We have three. I think, are we going to get more? Are we going to have more than that? Is there going to be another? Is there going to be another? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I think that was it. We have three Arctic Fox babies now and the markers are gone. Oh no. Ah, uh, that is a problem. I don't know why the markers have gone, but we have three arctic fox babies now. Oh my goodness, you guys! 40 weeks until maturity, so it's going to take these guys a long time to grow up. There we go. But uh, hopefully that will be a very, a very rewarding experience. So I think we now have five arctic foxes, and uh, it's going to take some effort to feed them, I'm not going to lie. So let's see, what other animals do we have? Have we unlocked many others? We really haven't. Ermines, apparently, you need to, a lot to feed. We should get Arctic wolves at some point, but we need some bigger animals like caribou. Um, oh boy. We better put some more in. And there are a lot of cool animals we can put in eventually, but uh, we can't do that just yet. We need some bigger prey first. So I'm going to stick in another population of arctic hares and another one over here we're gonna lose some it's just inevitable i think so let's put another up here and then i think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over and out